Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to back up your photos on your phone to your QNAP server using QFile. Open up Google Play, do a search for QFile, then install it. I've already installed it, but I'm just going to open it up to show you what to do next. Now just log in, at the top left hand corner, select the menu and then go to settings. Then you see the option auto upload settings tap on that and these are the NAS settings that you have options to so the first option is to auto upload from photo gallery the second one is automatically upload files from selected folders now I'll only be using the first option to auto upload from photo gallery as I just want to upload the photos that I've taken and the videos to the NAS drive now if you want to upload other folders then you would select the second option as well I tap on setup now and then you'll ask you to allow the permissions so you need to select ok and then here allow access to manage all file so the queue app needs to access your local files and that's why you need those permissions now you need to select the source so I'm going to select all photos and videos you do have the option to choose only the camera roll or you have the option to choose a custom folder so I'm just going to choose all photos now you've got to select where you want to upload the photos to if you have multiple NAS, you, this will be displayed. I'll be selecting the top one, which is my default NAS. So there you go. That's how it's set up at the moment. Let's review the settings. So at this moment, I'm, the source is all photos and videos, and I'll be uploading it to the destination, which is the NAS drive at that particular folder, multimedia camera uploads. There are different upload rules as well. So you can do a scan and upload use the original file names, duplicate the file name as well, just which will rename it. Then you have the option to upload automatically when you have a cellular data or have background uploading or when it's charging only. I'm going to show you if you wanted to change the upload folder, select the NAS again. And then select the custom folder. And now you have the option to go through and select the folder you want to upload it to on the NAS drive. This particular case, I'm just going to put it in a particular folder where I'll know and I'll be able to access to from my computer. And yes, I'll create it and put it under Photos. Then select OK and that's where I'm going to be uploading my photos and videos to. Now I'll be choosing background uploading, that way my photos will be uploaded automatically. You need to choose whether you want to allow the background uploading as you will be using up a bit of battery. And you got to allow the access. Scroll through to find Q file. And if you go to the bottom to the Q. If it's not listed, then you gotta select the option to show all the apps. But if it's listed there, as you can see, it's at the moment set to optimize, and you gotta select don't optimize, which will drain your battery a bit further. So go back into the app again, and now background uploading is enabled. The other option that I wanna use is to only upload when it's charging. Now, if you want to upload when charging only select that option and then hit ok this means that as soon as you charge your phone it will automatically upload and if you go to your background task and select auto upload that's where you see all the files that have been uploaded or are currently being uploaded now if this video helped you in any way like always please like subscribe and hit that bell notification and i'll see you next time